It was a dark, dark, cold September night when we arrived at the crime scene. That morning we, we uh, woke up at around 9.50. Wyatt woke up shortly after that at around 10 o'clock. I was working on case files till he uh, got up. What are you doing? I don't, I don't know. I'm doing the opening monologue. And then after that, we were like, hey, man. Um, and we had the special, special, nice bowl of Arabian shit. And then after that, we were like, hey, we need to get to the crime scene. So I was all like, hey, Wyatt, you're fat. Let's go get some more food. So then we went to another established restaurant called Tony's the Tiger. Timmy Tigerson's Tortellini Town. And like, it was pretty good. So then, after that, we were on our way to the crime scene. And I was all like, oh yeah. I want more food, man. So let's go get some waffles at Denny's. And those were tasty. I remember distinctly it was hot that day. I was sweating more than usual. Jack, <laughs> Why we got caught here again? Uh, I'm pretty sure some kid crapped himself today. But I Santa, thought... Santa <laughs> crapped that. But really, I think it was like some crank went off. That was bad. I remember this was our first case after the incident with the turtle. So we had to do this one real professional like. <laughs> So, Mr. Tate. Tate. Yes. All right. All right. So, Miss Rios. Rios. All right. Okay. So, where were you when this all occurred? Well, I was obviously doing the good teacher thing. Okay. Ruffling okay. through some papers, actually putting Why? some grades in for once. All right. So, uh, would you say that your students are generally? happy in your class? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right. So, um, uh, how often do your students go to the restroom? Um, my students get passes and they're allowed to go to the restroom two times a semester. So, mm. two times a semester. All right. So, uh, and how many semesters are there? Two. There are two. Okay. Correct. Okay, so that's four a semester. For a year. For a year. Yes, All right. correct. <laughs> okay. Um, so, 
Uh, who like most frequently uses the restroom? Well, his name is Jason. Jason. He has some issues with bowels okay. and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, was it Jason that uh, died? Um, and then I'll sit at my desk right here. Um, all of a sudden, my man runs in and says, Mr. Tate, some dude crapped himself. Uh, which man are you referring to? Michael. Michael. Um, said, uh, some dude in the bathroom crapped himself, and I was like, man, wait, 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 wait. been there. Wait. Oh, what's up? You say he crapped himself? Yes. I just, and it's there? Supposedly. That's what I heard. Okay. I was I was surprised myself. I don't know. Do I, I just know there was a very loud scream, very loud scream. Uh, a very strong odor of feces that came about the building. Um, it was very traumatic. So did you see anyone else on your way to the restroom, like like all the all the way right there? Well, see, the road from here to the bathroom was a blur, uh, much like uh, what I saw once I got to the bathroom. Question, question. Why was it a blur? Um, as you can see from my stature, I am very fast. Mm-hmm. So how fast did you say you were running? Buck, buck 50, maybe. Well, not buck 50. Mm. Can I keep that in inches per second? Like a lot to a little. Okay. All right. And, uh, Ms. Rears, I just want to let you know that you are a suspect in this. And um, Me? Yes. Excuse me? Yeah. This is yeah. the first time being notified we, of this. We found some form of laxative at your home. All right. So, do you at least, can you, could you recognize the victim of this very, very messy crime? Oh. <sighs> No. You, are you sure? I wish I could have. Interesting. All right. Can't think of any other major questions I have for you today. I believe you're free to go. Thank you, sir. All Let right. me know if I can do anything else. Yeah, probably lying. All right. So, your day. Should I, do I need an attorney? Uh, I'm, it's always safe to have an attorney. Should I? I probably you, shouldn't. I can give you my. Shouldn't be answering number. any more questions then. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. So, just another question. Sure. Just, at okay. this point. Yeah. Um. So, just like, this is a standard question. Like, uh, how often would you say you yourself go to the restroom? Oh my goodness, that's awfully personal. If I've had chili, I'd say two to three times a day. If it's a salad day, roughage, maybe four or five times a day. It's very dependent on my dietary needs. Okay. My restroom needs coincide. All right, well, thank you. Uh, that'll, that'll be it. You're absolutely welcome. Aquatic life cycle. You guys can see all the different animals. We've got the... Ah! You guys stay right here. Just stay right here. My name's Chad Wild, and he just shit himself to death. Now that's what I call a low budget cameo. Some shit just died. Uh, what? He was in the restroom and he crapped himself to death. Yeah, me too, man. Like, for sure. I'm not kidding. There's, there's poop everywhere. He's dead. He's on the toilet. He's, he literally crapped himself to death. Like you're, It sounds like you're talking about my lunch period, but like... You're being serious. I'm being serious. He's in there right now. There's blood. No, he's seriously dead. There's blood and poop everywhere. He pooped himself to death. You're telling me he literally let himself go. I'm... Yes. All right, well, regardless, I gotta see this. Let's go. He's right this way. He's in there. Oh, crap. That dude is super dead. I told you, he crapped himself to death. Yeah, this is a stinker, dude. I don't know what to do about this. Let's go get somebody.
That's how you do it. Um, as good as it can be when you're getting interrogated by cops. Yeah, yeah I understand that. I've been in your situation a couple times. Uh, but, now that I'm on the other side of the law, I just want to let you know, I do have complete and total authority to do whatever I have to to get the information that I need. I'm talking bamboo shoots, I'm talking waterboarding, I'm talking everything. I got water right here. I understand. I understand. All right. So, so just where were you on the day of this event? I was in the restroom. All right. Where the young man crapped himself to death. Stole right next to him. All right. Did he, like, he call out for help at all, or was he just like, all right, I'm going to die? I, I heard some intense moans, sounds of anal pushing, and then he, it's like he hit the wall and screamed. And then that's when I knew something was wrong. As soon as I did that, I ran to the nearest classroom I could find. My question is, how did you know all this? Did you have anything to do with it? I was in the stall next to him. The guy was dying right next to me. All right, all right, okay. You, you have anything to ask him? Um, I, you know what? I, what I gotta say is, a, quite a dumb bloke, aren't you? Because uh, he's literally—he was just in there. I mean, don't you use the bathroom? Yeah, I use the bathroom. But just a quick question: like, when did you go to Australia? Um. It's a good question, though. Dude, what was like, the bathroom, man? What, where, and, when did you also change, like, your face and hair color, dude? Cause, man, it's been, I, I've known you for several years, and, like, I mean, I know we're not interrogating you and all, but, like, why do you look different? Should I go to the other side of the table so you can ask me questions? I don't know, dude. Like, that's, that you're just, British now. You're just, I don't know I, what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> all right. Uh, that doesn't matter. All right, so. You know what does matter? <clears throat> he was just in the bathroom. And yeah, but I'm just, not, can no, we get back to the interrogation? I'm right? just saying, dude, like, we can throw him in jail I, for like, any quit. reason. I know what, yeah, dude, it's because he's black. I mean, I'm you know done. what? I'm Actually, done. I'm Australian, so I really don't care. All right. Well, you're not black. I'm done. I know, I cannot. By the way, you're probably looking for a guy with a box of waxes. Hmm. And he's probably allergic to two hmm. You know that because you did it? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I need some information on who has a box of laxatives. That's not laxatives. And uh, who's allergic to tooth pasture? Appreciate it. I need some paper. Right, well, this paper is from the script for this terrible movie. But I don't need it. What? I need blank paper. Right. Not this terrible script. What about this? Without, fine, without fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. I'll take it. Sorry. Right.
Seriously. Do that. Alright. Let me tell you what I told Alaska. And just give me what I need to know, man. That'd be my partner, I'm sorry about that. Where are you at? Um Gang fight. Alright. <laughs> Morning gang, we call ourselves the McChilla Chubbies. I have another chat. Just sit on the floor. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Did, did, did you sit in that hat? I already got it out. I kicked it. Right. Do you have any questions for the young man before I have to go at him? Um, waterboarding is really good. Waterboarding, you know? What you got to do? Yeah. Please feed him the crocodiles. Yeah. I got some water right here. <laughs> well, tell me what I need to know. I don't know what you need to know. Fair point. All right. Well, I would like to know how this incident occurred and who this incident like occurred to and who committed this crap catastrophe. Well, I don't know who it occurred to, but I think I might know who did it. Was it you, uh, Mr. Uh, Killer McGee? I cannot confirm or deny that at this time. That's a terrible name. Try anyone with that name for a minute. It's a family name. It's a family name. Were you Killer McGee the third or fourth? Because I knew a third back in high school. I'm actually so that helped. The fifth? Oh man, Killer McGee the third is too busy. And really busy. Yeah. I'm just saying, does anyone yeah, feel uncomfortable with that? So. That's some wild guys. Yeah, go ahead and stand. Oh, thanks. All right. You can sit on the desk. I'll do this. All right. Do you want me to do that too? Yeah, go ahead and make me feel comfortable. We're all on the same level. On the same. On the same. Go ahead and do it too. Yeah. Right. He can't use his hands. It's, it's all right. He can't put his elbows on the table. It's all right. I'll go unlock his hand. Don't go unlock his hand. So I want us to be on the same level, but I want us to be slightly... Should we put on the handcuffs? No, I want us to be slightly ahead of him. Oh. You no, know, because superiority. Because I'm definitely a cop, right? Yeah, you're... Wait, shut up. <laughs> shut up, stop laughing! This is serious. You could go to jail. I've been to jail. You've been to jail. Not surprising. It's because you're black. And my friend's racist. All Australian. And same Australian. 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 <laughs> this is race. So, you can't be in the shop, then. Fine. I'll just... <laughs> All right. So, on the day of the murder, where were you? Oh, I was walking by the bathroom mm -hmm. when I saw this pixie like woman. All right. What's she was. Name? What's her name, Pixie? I cannot confirm or deny that at this time. Right, so, it could have been Pixie. It could have been Tinkerbell for all I know. All right. I think I'll pick you, dumb bloke. I'm, I'm British again. <laughs> Alright. You got something to say? Well, I just have to say that that water was really cold. Uh, Alright. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, I had to, had to be serious about this. And usually I'm a nice guy. I don't, I apologize. I don't think you were sorry. You need to tell. I'm not that sorry. <laughs> but whatever. Alright. So. Let's just let's just start over. All right. Let's just say you were there. But you can't unwater his face. I, shut up. <laughs> well, let's just say you were there, and let's say you committed the murder. Where would you hide the body? No, I'm just kidding. We have the body. Where would you hide your body? Where Where are you hiding? School. School. I asked pretty good advice. No one goes there. Yeah. I hate school. Same. My chemistry teacher gave me yeah. I'm like 30 P E. <laughs> Don't even know how that happened. Let's get back on point, shall we? All right, let's get back on point. So, Mr. Killer McGee. So you say that Mr. McGee was my father. Call me Killer. Killer. <laughs> All right, Killer. I believe that you're not the Killer. But your name's Killer, so I have to just assume that there is some shred of evil in you, so. 
I'm gonna still because oh, you're black. It's also because you're black. <laughs> Could be completely honest. I'm kind of racist. All right. So just get so back the twenties. This is the twenties. That was the thirties. All right. Who's well, keeping track? Yeah, I don't even care. What I care about is getting the answer to my question: Who killed the crap boy? I mean, I'm sure he was an excellent person, but he is a crap boy because he died. Crap. So the 30s, you shouldn't have this digital watch on. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, time period, man. Time period. That, well, that could melt your brain. We don't know anything about it. Whatever you call that watch. All right. So just tell me what I want to know. What I want to know is, what do you know about what I want to know about? Well, I concluded, like I said, I was walking by the bathroom. All right. And I saw this short black haired woman Keep your not it's the 30s. Yes. <laughs> Mom, it's the 30s. We can't talk about an iPhone. I don't even know what an iPhone is. Oh, this is an Apple product. I'm gonna it tastes good. <laughs> no, never mind. Alright. All right, yes, I'll, I'll you stop clicking that. All right, so I'm just going to, all right. Okay, all right. Thanks, thanks, Gene. I'm going to wear your hat. All right, wear my hat. All right. I just got a call that said, you're free to go. So yeah, you can go ahead. Watch out for the hat. Yeah, watch out for the hat. Did you want to cuff me? No. Well, all right. Go. This is going to be a little more complicated. Yeah. Uh, ask the gang for the keys, they probably have it. Yeah, ask the trouble of I'm missing my wallet too, you can ask me for that. Yeah. Pick that up! I was not the cause of that. Alright. That was me. Oh, you're psychic. <laughs> Close the door. You raised the barn? Alright. I was. You are. I was too, to be honest. My name's, my nickname's Australian Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty good nickname. <laughs> Mine's American. Racist? Racist. <laughs> they call me Ebenezer. Uh, I'm just Australian. I'm yeah, just uh, born like that. Oh, what were you too? No, I'm Crikey. Kidding. Oh, Crikey. Yeah. Yeah. A little hot. I'm going to get the door for you. Thank you. I'll pick that up. All right. All right, guys. I'm here with my partner, Wesley. Why are you always Facebook Live and crap? Because they like to stay informed, okay? Well, I don't care about well, that, man. Just, well, look just, how much you're sweating. We need to figure out this. I like I like uh, jackets, okay? Well, I like to wear at hold least on. nine jackets. All right, no, no, you don't have to wear nine jackets every single day. Right. Well, I know. It's like once a time, I still like, follow me anywhere you go. You're like I know, a slug. I know. I know. I'm basically a slug. I'm a human slug. I get it. Well, you look but, like a turtle, but I, no, yeah, you're a slug. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, you're but a turtle. still, I mean, I mean, who really cares? Do I? What is that? Oh shoot. Um, uh, uh it's, you know, wait, wait, you have that, that's, that's the first, that's the first, that's the first, that's the Downstairs. All right. Yeah. Come on. Oh, 
Case was stated. closed. I was gonna say, it looks like that post schedule is booked. Uh, yeah, because there was a book. Yeah, I got you. What's another one we could have done? I don't know. I'm just... <sighs> I forget. Screw it, I'm too off the tide. I can't. This really <laughs> sucks though. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. Hey. <laughs> So, uh, you guys doing anything tonight? We could go, like, to a burger no. place? No. No. No burger place? No. I'm going home. <laughs> You're gonna go home? I'm just gonna go home. I need to take a shower. I'm not wearing any more coats ever again. Dude, but you love coats. Sweet. What? But you love coats. I hate coats. You said you love coats. Yeah, I do love coats, but I hate coats. Screw it, screw it. Yeah, I might as well screw it. Well, I'm gonna go to, like, a cafe, get something to eat. cafe. Denny's? It's a lot. Probably contains a box of acetones.
of my films have a very positive I'm disappointed in your species constructive I will destroy this planet uh, uplifting theme to You know, the public perception of what we do for a living really constantly amazes me. They think all that we do is drive around and get caught up in spectacular car chases. Huge buildings blowing up and wild gunfire and so on. That only happens in the movies and in TV. It really doesn't happen in real life. I'm a filmmaker Give me more money uh, To spend on the film Go now Contribute Provide for your fellow man and the planet Make the best of what I've created for you. Don't waste your lives. Tell everyone.